morning. Welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. As you saw, I had my coffee this morning. I was going to film it and it was early and I just spaced it. But what I did for my coffee is four shots of espresso from my Breville espresso machine. I did it I did add in a scoop of my collagen for her collagen powder, and I added in one of my little Fit Biotic packets. I have been loving those. They mix in really well with the hot coffee shots and you can't taste it at all. And then I threw in a Winter Mint Premier Protein for some protein and the creamer of my coffee. So I was able to get 30 grams of protein in, which was fantastic. So that was my coffee for this morning. I have not had breakfast yet. You saw that I headed out, and where I am right now is my real estate office. I need to print off my taxes for 2021. I need to scan in my driver's license for a payout. And then I need to upload my meal prep for today because it's Monday. So I need to get my meal prep uploaded. It is also Valentine's Day. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day on Monday. You did see that I got my husband a card. We don't do much for Valentine's Day. And since I'm not eating candy, I told him not to get me anything. So after my real estate office, I have to stop by the post office and mail a package for my Facebook challenge group. And then I'm headed home. I have some stuff to share with you guys. We got our new furniture. I also have a home product that I want to share with you guys that I've shared in the past, but I've really kind of re-fallen in love with it. So I want to tell you guys about it and lots and lots of good food. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box. Lastly, head on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. So let me head into my real estate office, get some work done here, and then we'll go to the post office. Last stop, the post office. So here is my breakfast for this morning. So I'm having one of my ham and cheese chaffles that I made in meal prep. These are so good. I had them yesterday as well and they are delicious. I decided to go ahead and top it with two tablespoons of the Boar's Head Roasted Red Pepper Hummus. I was going to do guacamole, but hummus sounds really good. And then of course I am going to have some grapes. So I'll put my points and calories here on the screen for you. I wanted to make sure that I shared with you guys one of my all time favorite home products. I've actually shared this in a couple of videos. And in fact, we did a big giveaway with this brand as well. This is my Clarify On Air Ionizer. This is a simple plug in air ionizer that cleans your air. And let me just tell you, this has really been a game changer for us. Not only do we have three dogs with lots of hair, we live out of town a little bit. So our house just gets really dusty, especially if we open up any windows or open our front door with the screen. It just feels like our house just gets filled with dust. And then both Troy and I are just suffering from allergies nonstop all year round. Ever since I purchased these, and it's been a good year, year and a half, and I've continued to purchase these and use these in different areas of my home, it's really made a huge, huge difference. It promotes fresher, cleaner, indoor air. All you have to do is plug this into any standard US outlet. It's going to reduce dust and germs. You never have to change the filter, and it's literally quiet. You don't hear it at all, and it trans forms your air quality. It clears up dust, germs, and odors. It starts working the second you plug it into the wall. It helps rid the air of unwanted particles and it's perfect for every single room. In fact, right here on the box, it says that you can use it in your kitchen, closet, bathroom, bedroom, basement, living room, offices, or garage. Really any room in your house that you feel like collects dust or odor or cat or dog hair and dander, this is a huge, huge game changer. Here is what it looks like. So this is exactly what the product looks like. It's super lightweight, super sleek. When you plug it into the wall, you'll see that it lights up blue around it. Mine has been so dirty that there's black around the outside that I've had to wipe off. So these have been amazing. I have them in three rooms in my house and it really, really helps clean up the air.
They always offer free shipping. You can buy one, two, three, four, five, however many that you would like for your home. I generally just pick up the three pack because I have three going in my home at all times. I have one in our bedroom, one in our living room, and one in our kind of mud room area. That helps clean all the air around our entire house. So I'll make sure that these are linked down below. Any discount information, special links, all of that will be down in the description box for you. But if you're like us and you have pets, kids, odors, and you just want cleaner air, definitely pick these up. They're affordable affordable and they work like a dream. Here's what I'm going to have for my morning snack. We're making this super simple. I'm going to have one of my little protein bites. I also meal prep these on Monday, so definitely check it out. These are absolutely uh, amazing. They're so good. So I'm going to have one of those. And then I'm also going to have one serving of these Maddie K salsa almonds. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. I featured these in my Dollar Tree snacks video. I'll link that for you guys as well. There were so many amazing good snacks there. There's two servings in this bag. So I'm just going to measure out one serving. So my morning snack is one serving of almonds and one protein bite. Our new furniture is here and it has been occupied by these two dogs since the minute it arrived. Lola actually, within 10 minutes of the couch being put in this spot, spent three hours right there in the corner with her head on the armrest. Our tables, like I mentioned in last week's What I Eat in a Day, are not actually due here until April. We did buy a coffee table and we did pick up a new end table, but I thought I would show you guys our couches. So they are faux leather. We never buy leather couches with pets because their claws can puncture the leather, not to mention they're super, super expensive. Our couch, as you can see here, reclines on both sides, which is so comfortable for me. I used to always put my feet up on our ottoman that kind of sat right here. And this way I can recline on both ends. The middle doesn't recline. Quite a lot lighter than our other couch. So it really opens up the space in here, lightens up the space. And we know one person who's loving the new couch. So that's our couch. And then little Palmer over here seems to be really loving Troy's recliner chair. So this is the whole reason we bought new furniture was to get Troy a recliner for his leg. If you follow me, you know he has lots of medical issues with his legs. So the fact that he can recline and essentially elevate his legs while he watches TV is a big game changer. Palmer here, pumpkin. He likes to lay in daddy's chair, don't you? Say, yeah, this is daddy and Palmer's chair. He just loves it. He fits perfectly on there. So that is our new furniture and we really, really are loving, again, how bright it makes our living room look. So here is my lunch for today. Super, super simple. Protein, healthy carbs. I have some leftover roasted sweet potatoes from dinner the other night. And then I have three slices of the wildflower ham from Private Selection. That is a serving, so I'll get in some protein and some healthy carbs. A little bit about Super Bowl Sunday. I had posted in my Facebook group and also over on my Instagram that we had a little get together for Super Bowl. We actually had two sets of friends over, one child that belongs to one of our sets of friends, and we had such an amazing time. I am going to go ahead and insert some pictures from Super Bowl for you. I didn't take a whole lot. I didn't take pictures of my friends just because I'm not sure if they want to be on my YouTube channel, but I did take a picture of our decorations. I actually bought these off of Amazon and it was about $11 for the entire pack. And that included the tablecloth, the plates, two sizes of plates, napkins and cups. And it was just perfect for Super Bowl. I ended up making a charcuterie board because I have this beautiful board from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. I actually bought it for my mom for Christmas because she fell in love with it at Thanksgiving. And it is everything you need to create a charcuterie board, including all of the tools. And it is so well made and it comes with an additional platter that has spots for extra cheese, meats, crackers. It comes with that. So it's an incredible deal. So I'll link it for you guys. And then I also put together some cute little bowls and trays to put out on our table. I had little peanut butter rolled wafers and Reese's peanut butter hearts and just tried to make it fun, put snacks around the house for the boys watching the game and us girls chit chatting. And then I also made some little smokies in barbecue sauce. And of course I wore my football shirt. Now, if you re if you've been following me for a while, you know that I bought this shirt last year. I think I got it on Shein for like six or $7 and it has this cute leopard football on the front of it. Well, I wore it last year and when I put it on this year, seriously NSV alert. When I put that shirt on, I had to tie it in order for it to fit because it literally, it looked like a dress on me and it was so big, huge difference from a year ago. So I snapped a quick picture. I posted this on my Facebook and Instagram. And I have to say, not really, not tooting my own horn or anything, but I have to say when I saw this picture, 
I was kind of surprised, honestly, how small I am. Like I was surprised how small I look in the picture because we see ourselves every day. So we don't see the weight loss as drastically as other people who maybe see us once a week or once a month or on YouTube, you know, a couple times a week. So I was really surprised when I took that picture and compared it to pictures from months ago, last year, the year before, I was shocked how much weight I've lost. So it felt really good. It felt really good to have to tie my shirt up. It felt really good to see my body shrinking, like literally shrinking drinking in pictures and it was just such a fun day. I did a really fun eye look. I don't know if you can see very well in the pictures, but I did blue for one team and orange for the other. It just helps get me in the spirit and having a Super Bowl party is something we really like to do every year because my husband loves football, our friends love football, and then us girls, we just talk. We talk about makeup, we talk about YouTube, we talk about everything, traveling. So it just really was such a great time with our friends and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to post some pictures to share our Super Bowl with you and maybe give you inspiration if you're interested in having a Super Bowl party or you know any type of party some fun things you can pick up off of Amazon I will link that whole football set in case you want to utilize it for a birthday party maybe for a child and I'll link that charcuterie board down below for you guys as well but I just wanted to hop on and and give you guys kind of an update on the NSV and what we did for Super Bowl one hour later we have had quite a busy day today. It is time for my afternoon snack. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm going to have one serving of the dry edamame. I haven't even tried this yet. This is the sea salt, and I'm actually really excited for these. It's 130 calories for a third of a cup, and it has 14 grams of protein. So it is the perfect, perfect snack full of protein. And then I'm going to have a sugar-free jello because I'm kind of craving something sweet, and this really just cures my sweet tooth, and it's zero point it's like five calories. So I'm doing edamame and sugar-free jello for an afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I'm making an instant pot pot roast. There's no waiting all day for this pot roast when we can make it in our instant pot. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need balsamic vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, beef broth, minced garlic, rosemary, garlic salt, and thyme, baby carrots, pepper, and a roast. So what I'm using is from Butcher Box. This is a grass-fed beef beef bottom roast. I'll tell you right now that these roasts are the best. If you have not signed up for Butcher Box, definitely consider it. I'll link it down below with $30 off your first box. And they are offering ground beef for life right now. So forever and ever, every box you'll get free ground beef. So definitely check them out. We love their red meat. We love their chicken. We just love Butcher Box in general. You could also add some onions or potatoes to this recipe. So let me pop out my Instant Pot and we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit the saute button. Allow our Instant Pot to warm up. Once it's warmed up, go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add the pot roast. Season both sides with my pepper, thyme, rosemary, and garlic salt. Now we're going to add about a half of a cup of beef broth to the bottom of the Instant Pot. Allow that to kind of soak up all those browned bits. We're going to add in our carrots. We're going to squeeze some minced garlic kind of right over the top of the roast. I'm going to turn my Instant Pot off and add the other one and a half cups of broth. Next up is three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and one tablespoon of soy sauce. We're going to put the lid on and you want to cook your roast for 20 minutes per pound. So my roast looks like it's a 2.25 pound. So I'm going to cook mine for about 45 minutes. So the Instant Pot just turned off. I did let it naturally release. release so I'm just releasing the last little bit of steam, steam before we pop off the lid. Ooh, that looks so good. So our pot roast looks good, it smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and serve this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. I have quite a few of the carrots and a slice of the pot roast. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. 
I know this is a strange dessert, but it just sounds really, really good. I'm going to have this little snack pack. It has cheese, cashews, and craisins basically in it. It is just a protein packed, healthy fat packed snack. I know it's not really dessert, but it just sounds good. So I'm going to round out my day with this.